Hello there and welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Operating Systems Today, technology for beginners and beyond. Well, speaking of operating systems, Windows 7, specifically Service Pack 1, uh, some of you know I've had issues. Actually, my first bug, my first major bug with Windows 7 in six, almost six years, trying to install Windows 7 Service Pack 1. It took me days to figure it out. I will share with you the steps that I took. Uh, this will not be a detailed presentation that would take me hours. To be quite honest, I don't mind uh, doing these type of videos for free, but for me to spend hours, I was not prepared to do that. However, I love you guys anyway, and this is by request. So um, let's see, whoever requested that, I think it's someone called Misfit something like that maybe I'm saying it wrong forgive me if I am but this was by request by that gentleman or lady I'm not really sure okay you will need Windows 7 service pack 1 to get to qualify for your free upgrade to Windows 10 as you see here now I'm all set to go with this particular machine now very important it says here that this PC is compatible if it doesn't say that or if it says incompatible then you're probably not going to qualify for the free Windows 10 upgrade. By the way, I, I believe that Windows 10 will rock, but that's for a different video altogether. But that is my prediction. All right, this will not be a detailed presentation that will take hours. However, I have compiled a list, not a complete list, but I believe if you do this, I think you'll be, you will be successful in installing Windows 7 Service Pack 1. Let's get started. Number one, you must have the original OS install of Windows 7, not a copy, not a copy of a copy from a friend's copy, not something that you downloaded off a torrent site. Really don't waste your time if you don't have the original install of Windows 7. Okay, number two, run a complete, total complete full virus scan. I run Avast, you can try Avast, it's free. After you do that, delete, clean your PC if it is infected, then, temporarily disable antivirus only if the PC is clean. Number three, install all the updates. You need to set Windows 7 to install updates automatically. Number four, install in order of importance such as critical, important, and optional. Number five, don't in try to install these all at the same time. It may not work. I usually started with the small updates, uh, then rebooted and installed the larger updates. Be patient. This will take hours. Uh, I spread it over uh, days. Okay, if you still cannot install Windows 7 Service Pack 1, number 7 is to run the Windows 7 or run the Windows Update Diagnostic Tool. I believe this is for Windows Vista and up if I am not mistaken. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. Okay, number eight, next, if problem persists, reinstall the clean OS. You want to back up everything first, such as important pictures, family videos, documents, music, you know what I mean. Back it up first because most computers have, at least mine did, my computer had a separate partition of the original Windows 7 installation. And I had to reboot to get to that uh, from the BIOS. Now, it's different for each computer. So uh, your best bet if you're not sure how to do this is, for example, say you have an HP or a Dell, go to the website, type in the model number, and from there, there should be some information on how to reinstall a clean install of your Windows 7 operating system. Now, sometimes there are two ways to do this. There's something called a non-destructive installed I know it sounds bad but non-destructive means uh, it will install the operating system and save your settings destructive I know it sounds bad but basically what that option does it reinstall and erases everything it's almost like resetting your Apple phone or your Android type phone it basically erases everything and does a clean install okay so if you do that then run the virus scan uh, on your backup later. For example, if, if you backed up all your stuff on an external hard drive, before you, before you reinstall whatever you backed up, run a virus scan on that just to be sure. Okay, number nine. After the clean install, only install the updates 
first. Do not install any extra software, any extra applications that you may like. Do the updates first. Now, this by now, this should have worked uh, for a certain percentage of people like myself. It didn't work. And to be quite honest, I was stunned. Uh, usually in the past, 99% of the time, at least for me, reinstalling the operating system fixes everything. However, being that Windows 7 is so special, for lack of a better term, it didn't work. If all else fails, number 10, if all else fails, use the PMP util command line tool. I know some of you by now are probably going, what's that? That's okay. Uh, it's 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 not really for beginners, but it's not that difficult. Um, I will have a link. I was able to find a link. Someone had posted a link on how to use this command command line tool with pictures. Uh, posted it how to use this thoroughly, and uh, it says here, of course, check a link in show notes for a better explanation. This is what I had to do. If if all else fails, I'd be surprised if you get this far. But hey, you never know. If all else fails, use this PMP utility. And this, here's some information here off the uh, Windows website of what the PMP util utility is. Uh, if you don't know what it is, that's okay. It's not that critical. I just want to let you know that if you want more information, again, I will have links for this below in the show notes. If you follow that link, I will have the link on how to do it below in the show notes. Now, you, you need to run this tool exactly, exactly. Let me say it again, exactly. If you don't, it will not work. And be patient. I ran it. I think I ran it at least twice, according to the explanation in the link that we'll have below in the show notes. I ran it twice, and it fixed my problem. Now, I have to tell you, I've been doing this so long, I figured my problem was drivers. I had a hunch it was drivers, and sure enough, it had something to do with drivers on my Windows 7 operating system. I should have just done that first and bypass everything else. But, you know, you try to go step by step to avoid <laughs> spending more and more time on trying to figure out an issue, really, with any operating system. But that being said, I got mine to work. So if you follow those steps, all of these steps, really something like this, if you want to just <laughs> bypass all this and just do the clean install first and see if that works, I suppose that's okay too. And if it doesn't work, run this PMP utility tool. Um, but you might get lucky running these steps first. This may solve the issue. Now, once again, this is not a complete list, but I believe this is somewhat close to what you need to do to help you fix your Windows 7 Service Pack 1 install. All right, that's all I have for this one. Let me know if this works out for you. I'm curious if you had to do all the steps or just certain steps to install Windows 7 Service Pack 1. Once again, please check all the links below in the show notes to help you fix your install of Windows 7 Service Pack 1. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope this helps you out. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and support this channel. I'm here because of you. So once again, thank you, and I will catch all of you sometime in the future.